It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Friday morning. We are all still buzzing from that performance by Shekhan. I'm sure that you enjoyed it too at home. But now, on to other things. Now, the plastic bag provides a quick and simple way for us to lug around our groceries. However, this once-loved plastic carrier has become a harmful object and a danger to the environment. So, the unofficial uh, national flower soon uh, became the inspiration behind business that aims to see treasure where there once was trash. Now, this morning, we're joined by twins Marika and uh, Margaret from Plastic South, Af Plastic South Africa uh, to share their story of turning washed up trash into beautiful accessories. Ladies, good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm looking morning. at this and I'm already very, very intrigued by what I'm seeing, especially seeing the two plastic bags over there and seeing how you've turned it into that. So exactly what, did, what started this for you? Because I understand that you still have full-time day jobs, right? Yes, yeah, so it started with, um, starts in the streets of Philadelphia. Not the American ones, um, <laughs> but famous in our story, so just up the west coast near Malkworth. Yes. Where my mom one year decided that, you know, she's cancelling Christmas. And we negotiated and thought, you know, mom, can we at least do homemade gifts? And that was the compromise we got into. Oh, okay, so there still would be gifts, but they'd be homemade. And yes. I made a handbag out of plastic bags. And um, that was about five years ago. We did a, you know, gift here, gift there. And then last, two years ago in November, Marika decided we should do a little bit more than just make gifts, and it shifted from the occasional gift to making a difference. And uh, we started a social entrepreneurship called Plantastic. Yes. And that's, that's Tell me, are. yeah, so there's Plantastics, but uh, there's, you know, not only crochet bags uh, and mats and baskets, but there's also something called Plantangles. Am I saying that right? Yes, yes. Plantangles, yes. tell me about that. So the Plantangle is <clears throat> a, a product that kind of evolved somewhere along our journey. Um, accidentally, a whole bunch of things happened, and suddenly we had this product. And what it is, is um, it's different to the bags or the mats because it's actually made from a, what we call a retrieved plastic. So okay. we literally physically stop and pick up a piece of trash. On and the side of the road? On the side of the road. In the middle of the forest? Yes. Wherever. Or on the beach or we fish it out the ocean and we've got a guy who's fishing it out the harbour. And then uh, we have an app which we were given by a, a company called Journey Apps in Stellenbosch. They gifted us this app. It's a yeah. mobile app. And so when we see the bag, we take the app. We take a photograph, we capture the geolocation of the pickup, yes. and um, then a whole bunch of tech stuff happens in the background, and we take the bag home, we wash it, and then we crochet a bangle, or we crochet a cord, yes. make a bangle, and then um, once we've made the bangle, we create a little web page, and the web page then allows you to go onto our website, and you click on the plastic bag, yes. and you can go through to the little web page. Every pentangle has its web page, which shows you the, the, the Google map of where the bag was picked up, it shows you the photo of the bag in the ocean or on the side of the road. Yes. And then um, there's, if there's a story, sometimes there's a story like there was a beach cleanup or someone swam Robin Island, and then we write a little story there. That's amazing. So and every single one of these has a unique story to it. And are you, are you showing us over there exactly how it is that you yes. put a plantangle together? This is the, the, this is the piece where you actually do the crocheting, and it's called it's crocheting a cord. So it's just a very is, is that more difficult than working with something like wool? No. If you can crochet wool, you can crochet plastic. Plastic yeah. comes in different sort of textures. If it tears, we just tear it, you just knot it back together. Yes. If it sticks, we put baby powder on it. Um, <laughs> it's it's wow. extremely forgiving. It's 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 a little bit harder on the hands because it's not soft across the fingers. Yes. But, but it's it's easy easy. And I understand that uh, you and your friends recently did something out of your your comfort zone for uh, Plantastic. Um, share that story with us. Exactly what did you do? You got a smile on your face right now, so I'm, I'm <laughs> so, hoping it's a good story. <laughs> So about um, in the beginning of the year, when we started making plantangles, we were looking for ways to get hold of plastic out of the ocean. Okay. And so I phoned a friend of mine, he's a, he's a very crazy, enthusiastic open ocean swimmer called Buff. Mm -hmm. And um, I said to him, you know, do, when you swim in the ocean, do you see plastic? He said, yes. And I said, well, you know, can you bring it back for us, maybe fish it out? And um, somehow the conversation went south. And he said, you know what I'll do? If you, if you make me a speedo out of plastic, <laughs> I will swim from Robben Island to Big Bay. Yeah, and um, wow. yeah, if you dare us, we'll do it. So um, we, made, we made a few prototypes. We had a whole bunch of plastic, which we actually picked up on Big Bay Beach six, on the 6th of December. That's incredible. And he's wearing only plastic. 
Did you have to line it with some softer plastic? Don't ask. This is the reason why, why he was out of his comfort zone more than we were <laughs> yeah. after he swam exactly. seven kilometers in 14 degree water. But that's Completely incredible. Crazy. Yeah. That's wonderful of yeah. him to be able to do that. And, and so that's, how can... That's, sorry, that's where the plastic was picked up on, on Big Bay Beach. Wow. Okay. Well, ladies, thank you so, so much for joining us and thank you for this wonderful initiative as well. Uh, now, listen, if you'd like to catch the ladies of Plantastic and many more other homemade South African crafts, go to Gommers for Geskenke happening at the Anura Wine Farm from the 31st of October until the 5th of November. This is absolutely wonderful stuff. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank yeah, you. Thanks for having us.